Good day, brothers and sisters. This is Steve Sandoval, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. In today's Gospel, we hear the Pharisees being critical of the disciples because they have failed to wash their hands whenever they eat. The Pharisees also observed that Jesus' disciples do not wash their hands after purchasing uh, things in the market. And they pointed out that uh, the apostles were not following the elders' traditions. And Jesus said a very important point about our relationship with God. He said that it is about the heart. It is not about practicing traditions or actions, but rather it is about our sincere heart to love. He pointed out one inconsistency that he noticed about the Pharisees, and that is in the command to love and honor their parents. The Lord said that they have this tradition or practice of declaring all that they have as korban or offerings to God, these Pharisees. And therefore, that excused them from giving honor to their parents and providing for their needs. And so Jesus was saying, this is not consistent with loving God with the heart. Because it clearly prioritizes tradition more than the command of God. The, our Lord commands us, honor your father and mother. Nothing excuses you from helping your old parents. Now, I reflected on this and it, it went into my reflection that the Lord is more interested not on you practicing a set of things but rather you sincerely seeking ways to love the Lord and I found myself repenting many times as I looked at this lesson because sometimes in the church I would give very easily as the offertory ba bag was was distribute sent around but as soon as i went out of the church and a beggar would appro approach me i would find myself a little bit hesitant because all kinds of thoughts would come into my mind judgmental thoughts is this man really in need or is he just lazy is the syndicate behind him asking him to beg for money and this money will go to waste all kinds of thoughts, judgmental thoughts. But the Lord is calling me to be generous, to just give, not thinking of where this money will go because that is no longer my prayer view to, to judge. But rather, it is an opportunity to act in kindness. This person is sincerely asking for help. That should be in my thought. And as an act of love for neighbor, I should do that. Bringing it closer to home, I, I noticed also that in my house, we have assigned chores. And each day, there is a person assigned to wash the dishes. I would uh, find sometimes that the sink is filled up with dishes. So I have a choice. The choice is, should I call the person assigned to give correction that he has not been doing his job? Or should I take this as an opportunity, as an act of kindness to wash the dishes all myself, all by myself, without, even if it's not my turn, being generous and kind, confronted with this uh, particular situation. The Lord is calling us to love our neighbors with our heart. And following 
the tradition or the rules sticking to it has a higher priority. The priority is acting in kindness and charity rather than sticking to the rules. There is always a time for that. But we need to be always conscious. How can we love our God with all our heart in order that He may be glorified? Brothers and sisters, it is so easy to point out the shortcomings of our neighbors and justify neglecting to do what is the most loving thing to do. May we always be conscious that God looks at our heart rather than the outward consistency in following traditions, rules, whenever it is about being charitable and kind. God bless you all.